little chat about Joao Felix. Now, it's a bit of a contentious issue, this one. Last week in the stream, the fake stream that I did, FM Trequatista raised the, the topic, or he asked the question, what are you going to do about Felix the next season? And I didn't really know the answer, and it kind of got me thinking, well, what am I going to do about Felix next season? And I haven't even thought about Felix for absolutely ages, which is weird because when this save first started he was one of the things that I was really excited for and in the initial kind of blog post that I did about this save and the intro to the save and everything, I was excited about, you know, managing a team with a player of, of this calibre, you know, a player with with this potential and yet, you know, we're, n one and a, we're nearly, nearly finished the second season or we're close to finishing the second season and, and well, we're not close to finishing. We're two-thirds through the this, this, this second season. 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 Well, this is going well, isn't it? <laughs> Perhaps before we continue, I should just say, how are you? I hope you're all doing okay. I hope you're all uh, keeping yourselves isolated. I hope nobody's got the virus. Keep safe, everyone out there. Keep safe. Stop, don't panic by. Don't spit on people. Don't do any of that shit. Just stay at home. Keep yourself to yourself and stay calm. It's all going to be okay. It's all going to be okay. Trust me. So FM Trequartista asked the question, what are you going to do about Felix next season? I wanted him to be a big part of the save, and I've just sort of forgotten him. It's really weird. It's The team has been playing well, and I felt like he's just kind of sat on the bench for a lot of the time, hasn't he, really? So I think it's time to start bringing him in, to start phasing him in. We do have the issue of the fact that, you know, he likes to play up front, up here, and that's a bit of an issue because we've got two strikers already who are both very good. But long term, there's something else that I'm thinking of doing with him. I, w I was actually speaking to Dan Gear about this on, sl on my Slack channel. Um, and Dan raised the, the, the point that I hadn't seen previously, which is that he likes to cut inside from the left wing. Which is interesting, you know, and he can also play on the left wing. I played him on the right quite a bit, but he, he, you know, he can quite comfortably play on the left wing. And if you play him as an inverted winger as well, in fact, let's put an inverted winger on attack. I mean, God, look at that, 19 flair. Can't, just can't get over that. If we were to play him as an inverted winger on the left, he'd probably be quite tasty. So I've been doing that a little bit. I did that for three matches. Uh, let's go and have a look at his stats. So, um, basically... He hasn't played a huge amount of games. He's come on, let's say he's played 13 games, but eight of those are off the bench. Um, but if we have a look at his form, we'll be able to have a bit of a closer, de uh, closer deep dive into sort of how he's been performing. Basically, where did he play? Here we, here we go. So this is when I started playing him as an inverted winger. First against uh, Elche, which was in the cup. So, you know, they're a, they're a kind of, well, what division are they in? kind of third Spanish third division so it doesn't really count but you know that I thought I'd try him out there he got an 8.8 .8 rating and a goal next game Alaves Alaves in La Liga uh, 8.2 rating and a goal again Deportivo would did the same thing he didn't have quite so good a game and I'm not sure exactly what happened but you know that was that and then Diego Costa got injured and since then he's been playing as a striker now initially he was playing in Diego Costa's position Morata was playing as a pressing forward and Felix was playing as a complete forward and it wasn't quite working out for him, and and so I decided to switch that up, play him as a false nine. Since then, he's had a 7.1 rating and a goal, and an 8.6 rating, an assist, and a goal. So false nine seems to be his position, and that was against Barcelona, by the way, as well. So a false nine, if he's playing up front, a false nine seems to be his position, and if he's playing on the left, an inverted winger seems good for him. So that's what I'm going to do. From now on throughout the save, I'm going to try and force him in. <laughs> and, and that might be on the left as an inverted winger, or it might be up front as a striker playing as a false nine. Now you might be asking the question, and quite rightly, what about Lamar? Because Lamar has been brilliant on that left-hand side, and in fact, Lamar won player of the season last season on that left-hand side. So essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw Lamar over onto, onto the opposite wing, 
and play him. He, it's not his natural position. He can kind of do it. You know, he's he's accomplished in that position. He prefers to be on the left, but he can quite easily do that. And then the beauty of that, when it eventually comes to those two playing on opposite wings, is that if we're struggling for some reason in a game, we can do some really simple changes, like just literally switch them over, switch wings, confuse people a bit, and uh, see how that goes. So that's the plan. That's the plan. Whether it, whether it turns out like that or not, we will see. So today we are in the Europa League and Felix is going to be playing today. We're in the Europa League. If you remember, we got dumped out of the Champions League uh, in a bit of a bit of a shock result. Um, the board were not happy, but I, I had completely neglected the fact that, you know, the teams that get dumped out of the Champions League at this point end up in the Europa League. It was kind of a little bit of a, a lifeline thrown to me, if you like, a European lifeline. So hopefully we can go on and do quite well in this competition. We have got some quite decent teams in here, though. We've got the likes of Lyon, Lazio, Napoli, uh, Celtic, Roma, Chelsea, Valencia. Uh, who else have we got here? Betis have done quite well there, it looks like. Salzburg, you know, there's, there's a few decent teams in there. There are definitely teams that can cause us trouble. So annoyingly, again, I don't have the Greek leagues loaded, so we're not going to be able to find out that much information about them. Um, we might get a team report if we're lucky. Let's have a look. Yeah, we haven't got much in here. Okay, we've got a little bit here, but we, we can take it for granted that they're going to be a decent-ish team. Let's have a quick look. Is that... Yeah, Carlos Baca, 34 years old now. <laughs> Bloody getting on a bit, isn't he? I wouldn't, have thought he's even, I wouldn't even have thought he was still playing. Miguel Angel Guerrero. Guerrero. Bruno. 26-year-old Brazilian. They've got some... I mean, they look like pretty average players, really, don't they? Lewis Baker. Ex-Chelsea. Is he ex-Chelsea youth or something? Youth, A Chelsea youth prospect, maybe? Yeah, back there. So he's Chelsea, Sheffield Wednesday. He's been, been around the block a lot, hasn't he, for a 25-year-old? Middlesbrough, Leeds, Reading. Doing okay to be at um, Olympiacos. Ruben Semedo. Now, he looks like probably one of the better ones we've seen so far, but still not really that impressive. Let's have a look at this. Um... So according to this, their right back is not very good, their left back is not very good, and their goalkeeper is not very good. So going down the wings could be could be something. I mean, we, we naturally play wide anyway, so that's good. Uh, not good at long throws. It's like, who is good at long throws? It's not like a thing. <laughs> it's not like, oh, a bit of a weakness here. They're not very good at long throws. That's a shame, isn't it? You know, this is like real life. Imagine, imagine your assistant coming in. Boss, I found a weakness here. They're not very good at long throws. Well, thanks for that. That's fucking useful, isn't it? Three of the eight assists conceded from the last five matches have come from the right-hand side of the pitch. Again, like, what? Did, what, were, what? Why? It doesn't even fucking matter. Three of eight. It's not a statistic I can work with. It's going to be a bit confusing that they're playing in red and white stripes and we're playing in our away kit. I might get might get confused there but we'll get used to it so here is the lineup for today haven't quite tweaked this so there might be things i want to change yes i can see something immediately so do you remember perez the defender that we brought back off loan he can play in all, all of our cup competitions so where he can play i am going to play him i've just got to decide who to take out for him i think i will probably Jimenez or Hermoso? Well, Hermoso shouldn't be in there for a start. So, yeah, Perez can go in there for Hermo Hermoso, who shouldn't have even been there, which is nice. Um, so we've got Felix as that false nine up front at the moment. Now, usually he would be here where Lamar is and Lamar would be over where Saul is not going to be in a minute. Oh, no, Saul is going <laughs> to... It's getting confusing now, isn't it? Saul is going to be there because Correa is still coming back from an injury. Okay. All calm. Uh, stay calm. Everybody stay calm. It's okay. Felix up front as the false nine. Murata up there with him. We're going backwards today. Um, Lamar as not an inside, uh, an inverted winger, as just a winger on attack. Then we've got Koke, DLP, Llorente as the uh, just a cent general central midfielder on support. We can switch that up if we need to, that he could be potentially become a Mazala or even just see him on attack instead. Saul is a winger on attack, and I'm going to change that to... Wide midfielder or wide... 
Might as well do wide playmaker if he likes it. And I think we'll keep that. No, we will keep that on attack, actually, yeah. Uh, and then we've got Lodi, Perez, Jimenez and Trippier across the back. We're not going to be cautious. We're going to be positive. Uh, we're not going to play through the middle. This is all left over from a game that I did last time. Uh, so that all seems okay. Oh, and you may have noticed that Diego Costa is in there. Now, Diego Costa is on the bench. He's just coming back from an injury. He's literally... I mean, it doesn't... It's, it says doesn't even say that he's injured anymore but he is at an increased injury risk because he has just come back from that injury so I don't really want to risk him at the moment I'm going to leave him on the bench I'll bring him on if we need to maybe for like the last 20 minutes or something like that um, but next match will be the one where I think I will start Felix on that left wing and Costa up front so that's when you'll see the magic happen right let's get the show on the road the Europa League. The Europa League. It's come to this. Okay, three minutes in. Nahuen Perez has the ball. What can he do? This is the guy we want to see some magic from. Perez. Okay, Lamar. Well, we want to see magic from everyone, really, don't we? Especially Lamar. Oh, it's a penalty. It has to be. That is definitely 100% penalty. Yes, and who's going to take it? Lamar. Lamar's stepping forward to take it. Here he goes. Smash. Yes. 1-0. 4 minutes. 1-0. And this is why Lamar has to play on that other wing. Because you can't leave Lamar out of, the, out of the team. He's so good. I mean, he's only scored a penalty, I suppose, and won a penalty. But he, he's such an important player for us. He has been over the last season or so. Jimenez. Felix, Morata, losing frame rate here a little bit for some reason. Urente, Koke. Oh, it's a good ball to Trips. Trips gets it in. Morata misses. 12 minutes or 13 minutes is about to be. Lamar, no. Felix, Jimenez, Koke, Lodi. Lodi finds Trippier. Saul, Llorente. Have a shot, Lamar. Koke, have a shot. Saul, Koke, have a shot. Oh! Lamar, Morata. I mean, we've got this. We've got this, haven't we? Jimenez, Lodi, Jimenez. Lodi. Come on. Passing it around nicely. I mean, I should be pleased with this, really. Trips. Lodi, shoot! Oh, Lamar. Getting themselves behind the ball well, aren't they? Koke, Saul. Okay. Lovely passing from us. We're just keeping possession. Not getting too stressed out. Trippier. Trippier seems to always be free. Okay, Lamar takes it quickly. Keeper punches away and now they can break. Guerrero. I think I said that quite well. Podence. Valbuena. Baker. Takamara. Be unjust if they score. Baker. And Felix intercepts. Here he goes. Morata. Go on, Morata. Take him on. Oh, good ball. Trippier. Saul. Urente. Koke. Urente. Koke. Playing some nice stuff here. Good ball. And there's Lamar. What can he do? I thought it was going to be another penalty. Oh, and they're forced to just smash it into the stands. Jimenez, Felix, Jimenez, Lamar, no one round him, Morata, saved. There's another goal in us here. Definitely another goal in us. Kamara, back to the keeper and good pressure. Pipiris, Pipir there goes Felix, Saul. The overlap there. Get your man on the overlap. No. Okay. So back to Urente. There's always someone free, isn't there, it seems. Koke. Lodi. Saul. 13 shots to two. Lamar. Lodi. That's to us, obviously. Koke. Lodi. Got so many men in the box. Surely someone can slot it home. Corner. 
Lamar. Coke. There's Perez. Oh, I'm, I'm pleased with Perez. He, he, he just does one little thing. That's enough for me. And it looks like Olympiacos don't really have any answer. Just stumbling around. Perez moving forward a little bit there. Lodi. Llorente. Trips. Oh, it's a good shot from Trips. Did the keeper get a hand to that? No, it's a goal kick. 19 shots to two. We're on fire. Coke. Perez. Llorente. Lamar. And I like we're being quite patient here as well. I mean, we're putting pressure on, but we're being patient with it as well. It's a bit of wild ball from Lamar. But we've still got possession. Urente, Coke, Lodi, Lamar. Oh, Lamar! 11th goal of the season. Assist from Lodi. And this is exactly why we can't leave Lamar out of the team. How did he get that ball from under that guy's feet? We'll never know. So they kick off. Probably want to want to score a goal now, don't they? You'd, you'd think they probably do want to score a goal, don't you? I mean, that's probably what they wanted to do from the very beginning, to be honest. Murata? No. Jimenez? Koke? Saul? Oh, another goal would finish this off. Really. Oh no. Oh, I thought that was in. Right, there we go. Half time. 2 0. No changes at half time. For in fix, don't broke it, as I once said. Lamar. Lamar again. Lamar's on a 9 rating at the moment. Two goals and a 9 rating. 25 shots to 3, 60% of the possession we've had. But Olympiacos are still trying to attack, but they've given the ball straight to the danger man today, Lamar. And he's running at them. Go all the way, Lamar. Go on, go all the way. Oh, he's got Morata. What can Morata do? Flicks it over to Lodi. L Lodi knocks it down to Lamar. He's on his hat trick there. Right, 63 minutes. Time for a quick sub, I think. So Lamar, it looks like, has picked up a little bit of an injury. But that's only just happened, so I think he's going to be able to run it off. What I'm going to do is I'm going to swap Lamar with Saul. And then I'm going to swap Saul with Felix. So Felix is going to become... Hang on, this is wrong. This has all gone wrong. No, that's right. Felix is going to become the uh, inverted winger on attack. And then we're going to swap Saul for Costa. And then we're basically doing that whole thing we discussed earlier. So let's just hope Lamar can run off that bruised knee. Lodi. Felix, here he goes, inverted winger, there he goes, into the middle, run at him, run at him, good ball to Lamar, oh, there's Felix, it's working already, yeah, Lamar's, Lamar's still struggling, we're going to have to bring him off, um, we haven't got a natural left winger really, in fact, I'm going to bring Miyako on, oh sorry, it's right, isn't it, of course, um, ooh, Okay, let's just do what, what the assistant's saying and bring Partey on that side. It doesn't matter at the moment, does it? We're winning 2-0. Should be fine. Valbuena. Jimenez. Costa. Although Partey arguably shouldn't be on an attack mentality, but we'll, we'll change that in a minute. Felix. Lodi. Felix. Koke. Urente. And they can attack now. And there goes Bruno. Are we just going to let him run at us? No, we're not. Jimenez is going to scythe him down. I've just changed Partey, by the way, to wide midfielder support. They're on an attack now. Bruno, Partey, there he is. Okay, Partey, that's not really helpful, but Costa's picked it up. Coquet. Okay. Lodi. Oh, Costa! The substitute scores. 13th goal of the season. 3-0. There's no way back from this now for Olympiacos. That's it. Might as well throw the towel in. I 
Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> 88 minutes, just a quick sub. Let's get Koke off because he's knackered. Herrera can come on. 90 minutes, we've got three minutes of um, added time. Bruno, it's a good goal. It's not going to make any difference, though. It's a good goal. What are you going to do with that? You need another two, at least. Just realised that Costa's still on a false nine, so I want to put him on a pressing forward on support. There we go. Done. Highlight. We're going to get this ball. I've got a feeling we're going to get this ball. Here we go. Jimenez. Oh, Black. Let's make it four. Let's get another four. Let's get another four. Another four would be nice. Let's get another one. No. There we go. Full time. Three one. Forty shots to five. I will fucking take that. Okay, so Lamar's only out for two for one to two days, so that's good. Maybe it's a good good job we took him off when we did. Um, post match press conference. You can fuck that right off up your ass. Send an assistant. There was no need for that, really, was there? <laughs> no need for that kind of language. I could have just said no, thank you. Send the assistant, but no. Fuck that right off up your ass. I'll praise you, Lamar. I will praise you. I, I do praise you. Should get down on my knees. Ain't not in that way. <laughs> not in that way, no sir. So that's that seems like a good place to end. Um, it's going well, I think. You know, the Europa League looks promising now. If we can beat someone like Olympiakos, I mean, there's there's probably Olympiakos probably in the I don't know. You'd probably say one of the top ten teams in the Europa League, maybe. So you know, if we're beating one of those that comfortably. There's only really f a handful of teams that we need to worry about, like the likes of Chelsea, um, Valencia, Roma, Napoli, or maybe a little bit more than a handful, maybe like six or seven teams we need to worry about. Um, but, you know, it's promising. I think we can do quite well. Right, next game on the channel is going to be La Liga, and I'll fill you in on what's happened so far in La Liga, let you know where we are. Well, you might have seen already, we're fourth at the moment, but yeah, I'll, I'll let you know what the results were, and yeah, we'll continue with La Liga.